on your side. And we want to thank you for staying up with us tonight for First Coast News at 11. I'm Anthony Austin. Our top story tonight at 11 people in predominantly black and Hispanic neighborhoods in Jacksonville could be eligible to receive $20,000 of assistance to buy or refinance their homes. This is happening due to a multi million dollar settlement with Ameris Bank. The bank was accused of denying home loans to people of color, even if they were qualified. This is a practice known as redlining. And tonight, our Andrew Badillo is on your side explaining the program that's a product of a federal lawsuit. It was the question on every neighbor's mind. How this is going to benefit us? But we can get you $20,000 to use for down payment assistance. Clyde Anderson is with Ameris Bank. I want to hear from you, but I also wanted you to know, as Reggie said, that this money is available. The Ameris Choice program provides up to $20,000 to neighbors looking to buy or refinance their home. I just purchased a house in September, so my interest rate is crazy. So <laughs> being able to buy that interest rate down and not having to repay that $20,000 is going to be really beneficial for me. This map shows who's eligible. The federal government says Ameris redlined some of the neighbors in these areas, withholding financial services from black and Hispanic neighborhoods. In the fall, the two sides reached a $9 million settlement. The program is the product of that settlement. What would you all be doing if you hadn't gotten caught? Richard Cuff lives in one of the red neighborhoods. To turn it into a program as if they're now wanting to do something great for our community, it isn't the true story. Anderson says Ameris can't change what happened. It can only listen and try to help neighbors like Cuff. I've been here having rela making relationships, talking to the city, talking to the people in the community as well, to really figure out again what the problems are, what we need to do to make a difference. And that was Andrew Badillo reporting tonight. Andrew uh, Anderson said that the program can help 375 people. So if you think you're eligible, we're going to put some more information on our website, firstcoastnews.com, and in the First Coast News app shortly.